So right now we're headed down to the construction site. And at the construction site, we are gonna film some videos down there at the site. But who knows what they're doing today. They weren't there yesterday because it was raining. But they're there today. So we're almost at the site. The construction site. Once we get there, we're, we have to film right away, I think. Unless it is 12 o'clock. If it's 12 o'clock, we have to have lunch with them. But Right now, like I say, we are just like I say, getting up to the site. They're working down here again. They did say they were going to work down here again eventually. I just didn't know when. Doesn't sound too good down here, so we're gonna cut the camera. Right now we are filling up the dump trucks. Even though I can't see the excavator. I hated filming down here because it was hard. But, oh wow, we have the opportunity to film. So we're taking the opportunity because we were given the opportunity to film, so we're going to take that opportunity and do it anyway. I don't know what they're digging up over here. Or I don't know what's going on down here today. Because I just got down here. But like I say, there's a lot of big things going in the holes. And I mean big. What I mean big... I mean big, like this. Wow. We got another transport truck with cement on the trailer, which is very good, because then we got lots of things to put in the manholes. Trailer load of cement here for the hole. Another trailer of cement for the hole here. First transport i seen on this job site. And that's the same for you guys. This is the first one you guys are seeing on this job site with me this year. Right now we are untying the straps from parts of the manhole. Because we need to unload it off this truck and trailer looks like we're taking off some chains on the truck here like i say we are I have some risky business going on here. And it's not really risky. It's more like very heavy. So heavy we had to rent an excavator just to lift this off. Because our excavator is a little too light. This probably isn't the heaviest load they've taken. Or it, could, it might be and it might not be the heaviest load. Right now he's taking off the chains off these cement things for the holes. Wow, he has a big load here. Take off. He has a lot to do here because he has to do it on a busy street in the city. On a side street. You can find all these things on MCON. I think they got them from MCON. But look at those big cement things. I don't know if they're part of the manhole or what they're part of. But I think we're putting in a new manhole and different things. Looks like we got some new uh, types of tools here on the site. I think they're called jumping jacks. Different types of tools. I don't know what they're called. Maybe someone could correct me later on in the video. We'll ask sooner or later. Probably around break we'll ask what those new jumper things are. They look like jumper things. But look at this. This is pretty awesome. Do you want to see the inside of a manhole? Because I'm about to show you the inside of the manhole. The stairs look funny on the inside of the manhole here. Every manhole is not the same. Because 
They're made specially for each individual streets. That's what they told me. They're made for each individual streets. Every street has a different design. So they have to make one of a kind. Piping for that street. The manholes are specially designed for a Pacific street. Because this is part of the manhole, these were a custom design for this street. Specially made for this street. Like I said earlier in the video, they're specially made for each individual street. Just like the ones that were on my street were custom made to that street. I think we had someone like this on my street. I just don't think quite as big or as wide. Or The ones on my street weren't this wide or this big. And then my street wasn't quite as deep as this street. But yeah, like you say, this was about the same size we had on my street. More than likely, this is the size we had on my street, but I'm not 100% sure. All the holes were smaller on my street, I think. What I am talking about is the manhole. Because the manhole was very deep, and so was the trench. The trench was so deep, we had to have a trench box. On my street, we did not have to have a trench box because it was Spruce Street was very deep compared to my street. I guess Spruce Street was like 14 feet deep and my street was like 10 feet deep. That's the difference on how deep my street is compared to Spruce Street. I don't know so much what's going on over there. All I know is what's going on over here and it's nothing at all so I'm trying to figure out if I can eventually cross over to the other side and right now like I say it's kind of different because I'm not over on the same side as everybody. Right now we have a dump truck leaving. We have people in the hole. Wow. So now we're working on storm. Now we're working on the storm. Storm sewers that is. And we're back to where we originally started on the site. You gotta do the storm sewer before we can uh, do anything like laying any sidewalk or anything else like that. Because this job is important for the street to be done properly. Not just bandage jobs like it was at the beginning. It looks like before we came on this street it was just bandage jobs that were done on the street. I forgot that we did the long process of going doing both like going back and forth on the street. Wow, there's, there's no sidewalk right here right now. No way. So did we already put sewers in or no? So have we already put sewers in? Pardon? Yeah, but this isn't the only sewer we put in, is it? This isn't the only sewer we put in so far, is it? Yeah. yeah. No, but I'm talking like throughout this whole job. Well, no, we did the sanitary all around. That's what I mean. Pardon? Pretty soon, I think we're having. I don't know if we're having lunch today or not. Sure doesn't seem like it. But we are doing a lot on the job site today. these things the storm sewers to get moved right now like I say we are filming this get taken off the trailer which is going to be pretty amazing to watch especially cuz it's going to be a pretty big thing to take off the trailer How do you carefully move those without hitting the wires? Morning, Jeffrey. Morning. Or afternoon, I guess. Good call. Huh? Sure. Right now they are moving 
the storm sewer. Looks heavy. It looks heavy. Is Nexavir going to tip? more important than pumping shit. Than that thing? What do you mean by pumping shit? Video of this shit. Oh, shit moving? You're in the shitter? <laughs> the shit moving? <laughs> I don't know if... Hey, is that the 291 uh, excavator? That's the 291 excavator? That's his own? Where's his? Okay, I'm sorry. Is it not heavy enough? Huh? That machine's a lot stronger than that one. So that one looks strong. That's why we had the special one here. I said that one looks strong. Yeah. Enough? How do you know how much weight it will hold? I read the specs. On the machine? Yep. Every job you do, you read the specs? Yep. You know, I, know what, I know what equipment we need on. There we go, we're moving now, we're moving. Slowly but surely. Like I say, we are like making sure we can get past with this excavator taking the load off the truck. So what's the difference? Is that one heavier or is that one what? Because it doesn't look taller on ours. 52-ton machine, and our machine's a 46-ton machine. That's a 60? 52. Oh. See the side? 352. They don't make that anymore? Yeah, that's a newer machine, too. That's new? Newer. I thought ours was 2020. Not the, not the hoe. Hoe's three years old. What's the hoe? Excavator. Look at the inside of the trench. This is our trench for this. Job and I know we already did parts of this trench already, but we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Even though we did it once, we're digging it up again. Like I said, we would be digging it up eventually again. So right now we're gonna film the next one getting next one coming off the truck. We're gonna film the next one coming off the truck once again. Here is the excavator once again. When are we having break? Are we having break today? I don't know. We gotta get this truck unloaded. No. Nah. It's a situation, Jeffrey. Not that big. It's a little situation. Right? You gotta get a. Make, make sure it doesn't become a situation. It's a little That's one. Why Kevin here. That ass end of that excavator does not look heavier. It is. Wow. That is smooth. But right now we're, like I say, watching to see what happens here. This piece of concrete so heavy we had to rent an excavator because ours is not heavy enough. Now we have a stronger machine and a heavier machine for this job for two weeks. I don't know where we're going with this, but I think we're putting it on top of that other piece of concrete where 
Corey is, but not 100% sure. But right now, like I say, we're digging in the trench and uh, we're just filling. Uh, we're making piles for this stuff, it looks like. Oh no, we're waiting for a dump truck. But right now, like I say, we are like, right now we're working in this trench. As we're working in the trench, we are filling up the dump truck. Yes, that's the one we put in earlier. Uh, no, that was part of the existing. That was a live water main. We don't want to hit that. That's what? Live water main. We don't want that to come apart. That's not the one we replaced? Mm, we replaced some of it up at the front there. Or further up that way. Because I know we dug it this far before. We did. We did the sanitary, which is up in the back of that truck. Because this pipe was not here before. No, but this wasn't. Uh, this here? Yeah. No, we, well, there was an old one here. We took it out. We got this new one in. Well, we took it out earlier in the season. Uh, earlier today. Right now, we're like to say digging. But we also have to worry about a water main in the hole. Make sure we don't hit it. Because if we hit it, everything goes away. And then we have more things to worry about. We also have a storm sewer in the hole. So right now, we have a storm sewer right there. We also have to be careful we don't hit that blue pipe because that is our water main. And if we hit that, everything explodes, I think. Like I think the hole, but we have a bigger situation than what's on our hands right now. We have a lot of dust down there. They're cutting something down there. I just don't know what they're cutting. Right now we are, like I say, going to see what they're cutting up. This is what we are cutting, I guess. This whole time, I don't know if it was the whole time or not. We are cutting through metal on this cement uh, for a manhole, but we can only cut so much or the thing will collapse. Yeah! Yoo-hoo! You got it, Jason. He's got one layer of that uh, metal off of it. I guess he's cut a couple of them off. Is that okay? I was watching. Yeah. So I stand back because the sparks. Yeah. Can you get hurt on the sparks? Yep. What are you doing to these things? He's already got one layer on this side done. Is that funny? What are you doing to these things? Uh, well, we have to cut these out. All of them? For our pipes to come in, yeah. So uh, even the big U? Yep. Even the letter U there? Yes, sir. I cut these, Jeffrey, on the outside. Once we set it in, we'll have to cut it again, just up here. But if we cut too much of it out, and we pick it up with the chains, it will buckle in half. And if you cut too much, yeah, if you cut too much out, that's weird. That yeah. is, uh, well, that's because the amount of force from the chains pulling on it when you remove. These were in the ground before, was it? Were they? No, these are brand new, buddy. Brand new. Two ninety one. Two ninety one. Put them in the ground. I was gonna say they didn't have them in before with the. Oh. They're not big ones in the ground now. Uh, they're small. 
we're, we're increasing the size of the pipe. Why? Uh, well, the engineers have figured something out. I, I imagine they, the sewers that are there currently can't handle the flows. That are right now, we are going back to watch the guys at the site. Right now they are. What are you guys doing down there? Wow, sir. What are we doing in there right now? Hey. What are we doing in the hole right now? What are we doing in the hole? Uh, right in the bucket storm sewer. So? I thought we put sewers, I thought we already put sewers in. So all the sewers that we put on the street all so far are just ship sewers? Yes. What's the difference? The difference is one takes the water, the other one takes runoff from the rain and stuff. Oh, so what happens if you hit the water? No, like what happens if you guys do? You I go close to the hole as I can, as much as I. I go close enough to the hole to get the good shot sometimes. There's coal coming across the street carrying some buckets, uh, probably tools and stuff. Or the buckets are the tools. Who knows with coal? But right now we're laying some dirt. We're moving around the dirt in the hole a bit. We still have a lot in that bucket of dirt. The next pipe will be laid in the trench. Soon as we're ready.